Hi, this is Bart with BuildLock.net. I wanted to show off a cool project I'm working on. A lot of my recent projects have been very small scale CNC machines, and I typically use Gerbil firmware on those machines. Gerbil is easy to hack and runs on cheap small processors. Uh, it was originally designed to run on the Arduino Uno. The problem is that processor is basically out of memory, flash memory, uh, after Gerbil's installed, and the resources are all tied up with Gerbil. A lot of my projects use hobby servos, and those would like to use a 16-bit PWM if you want to get good resolution out of them, but the 16-bit timer is already tied up by the step generator in Gerbil. I also like to add Bluetooth to those um, projects, and that requires a separate module and uh, adds extra room on the board and the wiring involved in that. Uh, also, you have to program those things separately. What I've done here is port Gerbil over to the ESP32. The ESP32 is a great little chip and has a lot of resources uh, that make it work well with uh, Gerbil. For one, it's got about the same amount of I.O. as a Arduino Uno. Uh, it also has a much faster processor. It has two cores running at 240 megahertz. It also has several timers, and the timers are uh, very fast and very high resolution. In addition to that, it has built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and some cool chip peripherals that can help with step generation. Porting Gerbil over to the ESP32 was a bit of a challenge. Most of the challenge revolved around the RTOS, and RTOS is a real-time operating system. Real-time operating system sounds like it would be great for CNC, but it really isn't. What it does is it tries to manage tasks in the interaction between them, and it does this using a tick rate, which is like the frequency that it can switch between tasks. On the ESP32, that is typically about one kilohertz. You can adjust it, but you really can't go too fast or too slow without causing some problems. That means each task is going to get a minimum of one millisecond or multiples of that. One millisecond gaps in step generation is just totally unacceptable. You can adjust the priorities so that one task will always have the highest priority and not be interrupted, but a lot of these tasks have watchdogs which need to be um, cleared or you're going to get watchdog errors which cause a reboot uh, on the ESP32. You can turn off the RTOS, but the RTOS has its advantages um, for things like uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, all those libraries already written expecting to use the RTOS. So uh, the long-term goal is having both those in Gerbil so turning that off really isn't an option. The trick is to use interrupts. And interrupts are what are always been used, what have always been used in Gerbil. Um, but uh, using them with the RTOS was a little confusing and took a little time to understand because some of the peripherals are allowed to work in interrupts and some of them aren't. So I had a lot of uh, times where uh, the machine would reboot and it would uh, take me a while to figure out. Uh, but uh, in the end, it worked out pretty well. The interrupts are being generated by a timer, and the timer is really high resolution. It's running at 80, uh, 80 megahertz and is 64-bit uh, resolution. Uh, and there's three of them. So that's great because I can use one of them for the step generation, and the others are still um, usable uh, for things like uh, servo control. To demonstrate uh, and develop uh, the system, uh, I made this little board here, and the board breaks out all of the um, features of Gerbil. What I have here is three um, stepper drivers, three limit switches, a Z probe three control switches, which are cycle start, feed hold, and Gerbil reset. There's also uh, a door interlock switch. Over here we have uh, flood and mist coolant 
as well as uh, spindle, which could also be used for laser. Uh, and I've also broken out one connector for use with um, a hobby servo. The status of the firmware right now is basically done, um, but it's had very little extended testing on it. So the plan is to test for a couple more weeks and then release a beta version on GitHub for uh, other people to play with uh, if they like. Uh, I can demonstrate it right now. Um, I am going to uh, first uh, home the stepper motors. I'm using uh, these little cams on the uh, stepper motors so that they can trigger the limit switch, but they can also run right through it. So I've turned um, hard limits off so it can uh, run through the limit switches without causing any problems. So um, I can uh, demonstrate a little bit of uh, higher speeds here. Uh, each motor is going to be spinning at a different speed um, to show that the uh, interaction with that. Uh, right now, uh, these we're probably generating about uh, 60 kilohertz on this fastest stepper motor over here. Um, I've run it up uh, close to uh, 100 kilohertz. These motors have trouble going that fast. The torque simply falls off at that speed to the point where they can't even turn themselves anymore. Um, but I was able to capture the steps on a logic analyzer. Um, so uh, stay tuned. A couple weeks, I'll uh, post the uh, source code on GitHub. Thanks. Bye.